Okay, this is take two on the process. Uh, numerous difficulties came about by the removal of one wire, so I removed all the wires and start over again. Now it's in the evening past the twilight, the sun is set, and before I had noticed that the neon uh, will not light very well, and in my past experience I remembered that I was very easily able to make the neon light, but this is very curious. So right now we've only got uh, an input volts of 8.5 volts and that's split between 2.49 amps and 211 amps on the coil system. Back up and show the coil system real quick. Now there it is. And then we're going to look on the same binary resonance system and look at the amperage conduction on each coil. They're not turned on. So we can see then we got 54 and 59 milliamps on each side. Now we got the load, it isn't doing anything. There should be only 100 volts in opposition on each side making 200 volts, which is why the bulb wouldn't light. Now we're going to come down here and we've got red and black coating for each segment of the resonance. And as far can zoom in here. Okay, well I think that's the one. Now we're going to pull the red wire out of the input. The green wire is the voltage. The black wire is the other resonance. Now we're going to look up here again. Now we see that we've disabled LC, L2, C2 and only LC1 L1C1 is working, consuming 2.5 amps, but yet now we have a full blinking illumination of the neon and we have the distributed milliamps of 45 milliamps on the front coil, 32 milliamps on the second back coil, and yet, as of yet we see that there's no grounding added. This is the thing that in the daylight, uh, just to even get the thing to barely light, you have to add a ground somewhere, but yet there's no ground added here. So that's it for now. YouTube doesn't appear to be accepting our videos, so we're going to send this one as a test. Thank you.